Hi guys, you're welcome to our channel. Yes, we are live in the city of Benin, just like our previous videos have said. Yeah, and we decided to do a drive around in Benin City. Yes, I'm usually very scared when I'm in Benin, I don't know why. And um, like our previous video said, we're actually um, currently going to Opa. So we're coming from the universe side of town, driving to West first second and third heading to Opa Sakumba Oka precisely this night so I'm really very scared in Benin city and you know driving around Benin the, the news you've heard different discussions from people you know how it is so if you are new on our channel you're welcome to Alin TV please do well to click subscribe button turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know we upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for your love for our channel so let's get into today's video like i said we are currently driving from uniben side that is um, a k1 yes a K is it a k1 huh? no that's not a k1 i'm currently driving from uh uh ekusudi that is the Benin lagos roadside actually so that's where we're currently driving from so we'll be passing through um third junction towards upper sack bomba so just giving you a snippet of how the activity is around the town it's quite amazing to know that uh the town is seriously still busy as at this time and uh, a lot of vehicular movement i think this is about past 9 p.m in the evening so we had an activity in town that kept us pretty late in town so you know i was quite amazed to see that third junction is still busy by this time a lot of activities still going on and um, i was like oh so why all the news of oh a lot is happening in Benin? you need to be afraid you need to stay indoors why all of those news because you can literally see people all over i believe you can see it for yourself and not just me having that kind of discussion you know and um driving through benin city this night what i actually also observed around benin is the fact that a lot of places are dark man the town there is no light in benin city at all uh, i think that is something the state government needs to really 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 work on because apart from these businesses like the filling stations you can see there is light and some few businesses along the roadside the town is literally dark I think and um, when there is this kind of darkness, it gives room for a lot of uh, activities to go on in the dark. So I think um, by using this medium, as a, as a, by using this medium to call on the state government of those states to see how the town can be well lit. So if you are based in Benin or you've ever visited, in, visited Benin and you spend the night in Benin, do let me get your view in the comment section. Let me know your own view of Benin City at night. Let me also tell me your experience as well in the comment section. And also, I also observe, you know, the, 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 the state government said they've actually chased out uh, girls standing along the roadside. And um, that was the second thing I observed driving around. And we actually saw some of them standing in some specific junction. I wouldn't want to mention uh, for some reason. So we actually saw them standing around, though very close to a lounge. Yeah, I believe when the police are coming, they can easily, easily get into the lounge or something just to, you know, to cover up. But then I could still see a few of them um, loitering around some specific um, junctions in Benin City, driving around tonight. So I think that is there so the news was all of them has been chased but i saw something very different so i said let me bring you guys the update you know i will always bring you the update just as it is on ground so back to our lightning you know driving from um the universe side that is um, Benin lagos road down to upper the lightning system was literally bad there was nothing like oh there is light here and there was no light here no that was not the case you know everywhere is literally dark we've passed that junction now coming to up as you can see there have not been any street light working at all and everywhere is dark apart from the the vehicular light you are seeing and the the business light you are seeing on the road and i think it's a major concern for me and also owing to the fact that the state has also generated their own power we have a video on that you can go and check that out the state has their own power currently you can go and check out that and some um government parastatas are already using that power owned by the state so i believe with that lightning or lighting up the state should be a lot easier for the state government since they have their own generated power and not the federal the federal line so i think that should um, 
that should be something they should look into lightning is very 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 important um also talking about um, reckless driving around the town i didn't really get to experience that uh, my my people who stay in Benin have actually complained oh the boys around the town don't know how to drive but i didn't really get to experience that reckless driving at night Probably well, because I didn't get to go to Saple Road because the complaint was more from Saple Road. So maybe because of the route I am currently using. So that is that. If you are still on this video and you have watched till this point, do let me get your review in the comment section. Drop a comment for me. What are you seeing on the screen as you are watching that I did not mention? Do bring it to our notice as well so that everybody can get to share their own experience alongside with you and um, if you have a recommended video for us also do drop it in the comment section we'll be more than glad to attend to it and um, if you are still watching and you are not yet a subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos just like this so we'll be in benin for a couple of time and during the festive period we'll be in benin so let us get your uh, the video recommendations you want us to shoot in benin uh, while we are still in Benin City. So we're more than glad to attend to it. And if you have any business for us in Benin, also do it to link us up so we can also partake from your business. So we are gradually getting to, we're already in Oka precisely. We are gradually getting to our destination. So we are passing Oka Market shortly. Uh, but Oka Market was very dark, so you won't even see anything. So we had to take it off this clip. So we're already in Upper, as you can see. So we're having our destination very 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 soon and the whole place is dark upper is a different zone entirely you can see that the movement you observe while we are third junction second and the first is quite different from what we are seeing in upper so the the, the movement became became more skeletal around this area probably because of the way the area is so that is it guys i believe you find this video informative find it interesting and do well to give us your comment in the comment session thank you very much guys i hope you find it interesting we'll catch you guys in our next video bye